So just because we have rock crawlers doesn't mean that we don't have to use the proper tools, you know what I mean? Just get you the proper tool. It makes this shit way easy. Done. I've seen people use flathead screwdrivers and it works just fine. The problem is if you mar the race, it's gonna leak oil, even though it's a rock crawler, you still don't wanna do that, right? You don't wanna have stuff leaking on the trail any more than what you have to. Just get the proper tool. It's like freaking five bucks. Done. That's what dip oil should look like. Nice and somewhat green. Now we're just doing it all over again. Pull the axle shafts out of the 83's axle and the third member to swap in the 86. I'll be coming up hot for a minute. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. I, I, I drop the top when I'm in it. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. Yeah, I go so yo. Everybody, everybody know I'm on. You know when they click, click through. Try to say this box of ESO be Make sure that you guys are jumping around your axle. Weld a piece here, weld a piece here, weld a piece here, weld a piece on the other side, and just keep bouncing around. Don't try that balancing technique at home, kids. Right. Not good. I feel so good. Everybody, everybody know I'm on. You know when they click, click, through. Try to send this box to be a I'll be coming up hot for a minute. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. I drop the top when I'm in it. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. Yeah, I feel so good. Everybody, everybody know I'm on. You know when they click, click, through. Try to send this box to be a selfie.
got the axle underneath the truck. All we gotta do is torque down the U-bolts and then figure out brake line routing. I wanna bring it up over top of the truss to keep it out of the way of rocks, just in case we back into rocks. It doesn't make contact with the brake lines. Put the tires on it, that's about it. So first thing we need to do, we need to figure out how we're gonna route these brake lines. I'm just gonna be using the old factory lines. So we'll put this side on the brake drum, route it underneath the leaf perch just like normal. It's up close enough to the tire. Hopefully nothing gets to it, but maybe, who knows. There she is, cut those off eventually. That's how I routed the brake lines. Breather hose is just kind of zip tied up to one of the shocks. If it breaks, it is what it is. Come down, all these are rib nutted in. Boom. Well, that was a long day. Frick got the axle back in. Shocks are mounted. Brake lines are done. Tires are on. It was a good swap. Back to looking sexy again. <laughs>